Good girl, this is a girl. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we will be conducting a drill, abandoned ship drill, launching of lifeboats and maneuvering in the water and pretend that we are abandoning the ship. This is required by SOLAS or the safety of life at sea and is to be done every three months whenever possible. So stay with me guys because I am going to show you how we do it. Before the start of this drill, Briefing and discussion should be done in order to have an effective and safe execution as this drill is considered risky. All drills on board starts with an emergency alarm. For abandoned ship drill, it will be the general alarm with 7 short blasts followed by 1 long blast. <laughs> Finally, by the captain's public announcement, abandon ship. This is a girl, this is a girl. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. All right. After the alarm, all crew must proceed to their assigned lifeboat station and have to bring their life jacket and immersion suit for mustering. <laughs> Here in our vessel, we have two enclosed type light boats. As chief mate, I am the Fox Wayne or the leader on the port side, and the second officer is on the starboard side. After the crew members are all accounted for, it has to be reported to the bridge team led by the captain. Uh, bridge, this is uh, lifeboat number two. All crew accounted for. Okay, same thing, port side, all crew accounted for. Uh, conduct the, the briefing and uh, review of uh, each crew lifeboat uh, duties and responsibilities. Copy that, sir. <coughs> Charge of engine. Each crew have their own duties and responsibilities during the abandoned ship drill and one of the purpose of this drill is for them to familiarize all of it. After that, we are now going to launch the lifeboat into the water to prepare for maneuvering. To lower the lifeboat, we have to take away all the lashings and all other securing equipment to free the lifeboat. The painter line should be fastened onto the strong point on the main deck. Its purpose is to hold the lifeboat from drifting away when the lifeboat is waterborne before the start of maneuvering. Before lowering the lifeboat, a fall preventer must be installed for safety purposes, but in real emergencies, it should not be installed. It's time to lower the lifeboat. The lifeboat is already down the water. Then it's time to go down there to release and maneuver it. Each lifeboat station has an embarkation ladder, which is to be used to embark into the lifeboat. Hey, 
Hihirit kami ng pinto line dito sa likod para mag-secure tayo. Hindi na ano yung life boat, sir. Hello? Turo dyan, sir. Mamaya pag uh, mag-secure na tayo. Ano yung kuhan? Pinto line sa likod. Okay, sige. Sige, sige na natin. Sige. Sir, tanggalin nyo na Ari, ari Ari, 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 There are two systems of releasing the LiPo, the onload and offload system. Onload system means to release the LiPo while it is hang about 1 meter above the water, while the offload system means to release the LiPo while it is waterborne or floating in the water. In our case, we are going to use the offload system. After the live boat's hook are released, it's time to release the painter line. And we are good to maneuver. Let's go! Coxswain. It is what they call the driver of the lipo and the team leader. As the chief mate, I am the coxswain of this particular lipo. <laughs> Driving this type of lipo is not that difficult. The only harder is the part where we have to maneuver it to put back to its region and reconnect to its hooks and poles. After a satisfactory round, we are going to maneuver back to the recovery position to recover the lipo. One of the purpose of this drill is to make sure that the live boat remains in good working condition and that it is ready to use in case of emergency and the other is for the crew to be well trained and prepared for this particular emergency, abandon ship.
Nakalagay na dre ang bayter. set and reconnect the lifeboat hooks and it's time for the crew to go up. Okay. I said okay. Very hot guys, very hot. After all the crew are cleared, it's time to heave up and secure the lifeboat. The lifeboat can save the lives of crew during abandoned ship emergencies. But you know what is the best lifeboat? It is the vessel itself. That's why we have to keep the vessel safe at all costs. So that is how we do it guys. And we can only do it at anchorage or inside the port, depending on the weather condition. Of course, we can only perform if the sea condition is calm. And also, if the local port authority will allow us. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon down below for you to be updated on my next vlogs. Bye guys!